Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Taria Vigitavant and I wanted to just jump up here real quick and tell you, have you heard about the Urban CEO Network? Darling, if you have not heard about Urban CEO, then you need to make sure that you jump on board. Right now, we have a special so that you can actually be a part of our Urban CEO Academy, which is our monthly membership program, where not only do you get exclusive access to events, discounts, and things of that nature, but you also get training that's designed to help you to grow your business. Right now, you can join for seven days for free and see what we're all about. All you need to do is go to UrbanCEOAcademy.com and check us out for real. Like we're the fastest growing organization right now designed to help men and women that come from the urban community that want to grow in business, that want to grow in their career, or you simply just want to be able to grow in your life. Urban actually stands for unapologetic, real bold, action oriented, and non-conforming. So come over here, check us out, join. We want you to be a part of what we're doing. Seven days free. You have really, I mean, it's a win-win situation so you can see what we're all about. All right. So join. I look forward to seeing you guys there. I'm going to talk to you later. Deuces. Hey, Urban CEOs, listen up. It's your girl Shakita D Days from Miami, Florida. And the name of my organization is Derek Danzel Days, the second corporation. And what we do is we help individuals realize their dreams and bring their visions to life. Whether it's starting a business, whatever that thing is that you want to do, we can help you bring that to life. I'm here to bring you the announcements today. So if there's many of you out there and you're looking for direction and you're not happy in your life, happiness is an inside job. Happiness is something that you have to create. So if you're not happy in your space, then you have to create your own happiness within your circle. And that's my quote of today. Happiness lies in your hands. So again, my name is Shakita D. Days. I am the CEO of Derrick Denzel Days, the second corporation. I'm a full-time police dispatcher and we help individuals realize their dreams. So any of you out there, you're looking to bring your vision to life, contact us. You can visit our website at www.ddd2c.biz. And remember, as long as you're alive, don't stop pursuing your dreams. You're here for a purpose. Will Roundtree, Twyla Portis, Carla Beatles, Orlando Haynes, Dr. Jasmine Zapata, Andrea Williams, Dr. Latanya Jackson, Kitten Gray, Brian Keith Bailey, Isabel Rojas, and then we have Micro, we have Annette Bryant, as well as Dr. Stevie Aisha Mills. What do all these people have in common? My name is Taria Vishnavant, and since 2014, I've helped more than 5,000 speakers, coaches, and network marketers to write books to grow their business. Look, this is the best time more than ever to actually finally get that book done. So if you want to join my free masterclass and to learn more about how I can help you to get your book done, go to a book and 30 days.com. I hope you join me. We actually have an intensive book camp coming up very soon. So I hope that you pull up on us and join me. All right. So a book and 30 days.com and I'll see you there. Deuces. Hello, 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 beautiful people. And thank you for tuning in to As Well As It Gets TV. We're super excited for you to be here with us. And my name is Chanel Spencer and I'm the CEO of Maximum Evolution. And I help women to transform their lives by bringing their vision into fruition. Because we're no longer waiting for a seat at anyone else's table. We're just going to go and build our own. And you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Chanel Spencer Now, as well as my website, www.readytotransformitnow. Because we're all about now action, not later action. So go do that now. Well, no, do it after this episode. But you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so find me and connect with me.
me on Shanice Winston Now on Facebook and Instagram and www.readytotransformnow.com. So I'm here to give you your announcements for today. And so our first announcement is Urban CEO Network is looking for professors to join our Urban CEO Academy. If you coach people in all areas, including businesses of all types to finances, to fitness and health, we want you. For more information, go to professor.urbanceonetwork.com. Again, professor.urbanceonetwork.com, okay? Our second announcement, do you have a product that you want to get out there and promote it in front of thousands? Yes, thousands, not one, not two, but thousands. We want to help you promote your products for free. Yes, F-R-E-E, -E, free. For more information, please send an email to info at urbanceonetwork.com. Again, info at urbanceonetwork.com. And last but not least, want to be a part of the movement? Urban CEO would love to have you. Make sure to visit our website, www.urbanceonetwork.com for details on joining our movement and becoming an official urban CEO. Again, thank you for tuning in. And my name is Chanel Spencer and I'm the CEO of Maximum Evolution and I help women to transform their lives by bringing their vision into fruition. And we are no longer waiting for a seat at anyone else's table. We are just going to go and build our own. And you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Chanel Spencer Now and my website, www.readytotransform now. Again, we're all about now action here at Urban CEO, not later action. All right, thank you beautiful people, bye. Hey, guess what, y'all? As real as, as it gets, it's on Ice Cold TV Television Network every Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. Central, 9.30 Eastern on any Roku TV, any Roku device, or you can tune in at IceColdTVTelevisionNetwork.com. Don't miss it. What's going on, Urban CEOs? Taria Vishnavant here in the house, darling. We are here, we are here, we are here. And I am so excited because we have another edition of As Real As It Gets with our VIP guest. And so you've had a chance to hear from our ambassadors, you know, from the announcements, of course, to the uh, the quote of the day. By the way, you know that uh, we are now on Roku TV and Roku airs to millions of people, okay? So every single Thursday night, we are on Ice Cold TV. Uh, Ice Cold TV is another station on Roku, but guys, we are all over the place, all right? And we've got some more announcements on the expansion of our show. One thing I will tell you is that we are taking all of our VIP interviews, like the one that we're going to do today, and we are also uploading it to a podcast. So all your podcast outlets, y'all, you can listen to as real as it gets. If you just want to get straight to that interview and get that value, get that knowledge, you can definitely plug into that. All right, listen, I told y'all, look, look, I'm going to tell you this. We are preparing for 2021. 22, 23, 24, and 25. Urban CEO Network is going to be the most known organization designed to be the bridge between the urban community and business success. And I am so excited about today's particular topic because as you can see, this beautiful young lady is gonna teach you guys all about how to earn your first $1,000 selling a class. Now listen, listen, Linda. I am all about this, okay? If anybody knows me, you know, if you follow my training, I'm telling people today is the day to get into coaching. Today is the day to get into information. But let me tell you a little bit about our VIP guest. Her name is Shalina Diva Broster, okay? And she's a best-selling author called Fire Your Friends, A Woman's Guide to Becoming Her Own Best Friend. Amen to that, okay? Like, we too old out here to be not knowing, like, who we supposed to be and all this good stuff. But I love that award-winning speaker. Her clients call her the diva because she knows, um, she shows women how to discover, invest, value, and appreciate their lives and business. As a startup coach for online coaches, she educates, equips, and trains them to start earning money quickly by packaging their knowledge into digital information, products, uh, and products. Through her company, Best 
selling year LLC. I love everything about what we are talking about here. Okay. She now coaches. Um, she, I'm, I'm sorry. She helps coaches, consultants, and experts with personal branding, content marketing, and digital product creation as well as such as webinars, eBooks, and online courses. Y'all, I want you to give it up to our VIP guest of the day. None other than Shalina Diva. <laughs> Hey, Diva oh, wow. Darling. How are you? Hello, Darling. Ah. I am good. Thank you so much for that amazing, amazing welcome. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I love it. I love the setup. I love everything. And I love your energy and most importantly, your vision. So I'm honored to be here. So thank you so much for having me. Oh, absolutely. I'm so excited. And listen, we've got a whole new setup here as far as what's going on behind the scenes. Y'all can't even see it, but you see, you know, we are over here looking real crispy right now, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shalina, now I know I didn't do as much justice as we could do as far as sharing who you are and how you've gotten here today. So do me a favor. If you could tell our audience a little bit about like, how did you get into the space you know what was it that went through you know with your journey um so that we can definitely impact some more people so go ahead i'm gonna, I'm gonna let the floor be yours well thank you so much um uh, for me i actually started out in the online space i would say about like 2009 or 2010 i got into the space because i simply loved facebook i loved um building, I didn't know I was building a platform back then, but I was just like building a little fan page and I was sharing and I, I built the blogs, so I built the platform that way. And over the years, I just kept going and I kept doing it. And I, like I said, I didn't realize that I was actually doing something that was very valuable. Like that was a valuable skill to have. And in the midst of that, around 2012, I uh, broke up with my son's father. He was my fiance at the time. And in doing so, in doing so, I became homeless because he was like my everything like my, he i was engaged to him i worked for him everything um so for me it was like really tough because um that was my everything and um i left and i was homeless for two years and in the midst of that i had to rebuild my life now and i have uh, you know, I went to Duke University, so I have an education, right? I have all these skills, but when you're in a traumatic situation like that and you're going through all these things, sometimes you just can't find your way. But I had to earn money because my son's father, he um, he sued me in. Was it child support? We went to custody. So it was like, listen, I went through the ringer. So a lot of men are like, you know, men complain about child support. Well, I was on the other end. And it was because, you know, I said, you know what? I'm going to get myself on my feet and I'm going to come back and get my son. Well, it didn't work out that way. And it was this nasty, nasty custody battle. So what ended up happening is I had to start earning money because when I went to custody court, I mean, child support court, it was like the best thing that happened to me because the judge was like, I don't care if you don't have income coming in. I don't care if you're working. You still have to pay all this money. Mm. And I was like, oh, like they were serious. I want to go to jail, crazy. like jail, jail, girl. Yeah. So I had to basically rely on my skills and the skills that I had, you know, I always tell people what's in, you know, everything you need, it's in your hands or it's at your feet. What was in my hand was the cell phone and it was the skills that I had and what I had been learning over the years. And so I started teaching people how to use the internet, like to teach and to build their business. And over the years I've refined that. But for me, my business was really birthed from necessity because I really had to start earning money and I couldn't find a traditional job and I didn't want a traditional job. So that is how best selling year, how it was birthed and how it came about. And over the years I just fine tuned and I mastered what I did. And so basically in a nutshell, I, I, sh I like to tell people I turn your mind into an ATM because we have so much talent, whether it's from college, formal education from college, whether it's the skills that you've gleaned from corporate America over the years, or if it's the life lessons you've learned from what you've overcome, you can turn all of those things into, you can monetize all of that. There's somebody out there to buy it. So uh, that's what I help women to do. I'm super excited. And a lot of my clients have been super successful during the pandemic. And I specialize with new coaches. You know, some coaches like, oh, I want to help you scale to six figures or I want to help you get to seven. My passion is for those new coaches who are like, I'm just getting started. Like they really don't know. I have the passion for it. Mm -hmm. I love to teach. I love to teach step by step. So I've had a lot of success with, you know, my own company, but definitely 
my clients. So that's what I do to help um, new online coaches, speakers, and consultants. Okay, honey. So yes, I might have some strategic partnership I need to do with you. Yes. Because, you know, <laughs> I, as you know, I work with a lot of people and, and I specifically work with speakers and coaches um, mm -hmm. or people that want to become speakers and coaches and show them how to write books. But I don't want to do the part where I teach them how to create the coaching program. I said, I'm a partner with someone for 2021. So, I mean, I'm <laughs> well, just hey, listen, listen. <laughs> and, you know, you... You just hit upon something that um, I just want to express to your viewers and what has really helped me to be successful, especially in 2020, was that I was not afraid to niche and I was not afraid to like own a lane. And some people feel as though you have to be everything to everybody and you don't. So that's OK if you're like, listen, I can help you with this book thing and mm -hmm. I know you're going to need that. And because mm -hmm. you're going to need that, you know what? I'm really good here. I can partner with someone over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? To help. And and the thing is a lot of um a lot of new coaches they get caught up because they're like, you know what? They think they have to teach everything. And right. it's like, no, you can present whatever you want, but it doesn't mean you have to actually teach it. And I think once some people wrap their minds around that, it changes the game, you know? And it's like, oh, and it makes you wiser, like you said, it makes you wiser about who you partner with. It makes you wiser about looking for strategic partners to help you fill a need that your people need. Yes, you know, absolutely. I love that. Yeah, you got to definitely be. And, you know, I, I was saying the other day, I was like, when you do partner with, you know, you have strategic partnerships with people. First of all, it's another way to build multiple streams of income. Uh, you know, our community, mm -hmm. we are addicted to labor. And so when we hear multiple streams, we think that's multiple businesses, um, which is not the same thing. It's two different things. Uh, but another thing in regards to being strategic, you make it a win win for your clients. So like, for example, you know, if I if I do maybe I do weight loss, right? I help women to lose weight, but most of the women I'm, I'm finding are single. So then I can connect you with a relationship coach. Now that you're getting yourself in shape, I partner with a relationship coach that t teaches you how to use your femininity to be able to get the man that you want, right? But that, but you're looking good now. So these are what you call strategic partnerships. And unfortunately, what I love that you mentioned how new coaches are like, well, I can coach here, I can coach there. And I'm going to tell you, Shalina, you know, the way that I made a decision to really narrow and niche down is because I got tired. I was doing too much. I was stretched. Yeah. I was overworked and mm -hmm. underpaid. You you know what I'm saying? So let, let's talk about, you know, brand new coaches that are getting started. What do you typically recommend when a coach is getting started? How should they offer their program or how should they create that offer and, and things of that nature? OK, I'm so glad you asked that. I, I was just speaking to a, a larger audience uh, a couple of weeks ago and I shocked them. I said, listen, contrary to what a lot of these gurus are telling you, and if you're like me and you're on Facebook, like every other ad or every other ad is telling you to create a course. And I tell new coaches, don't do that. The reason why is because I feel as though as a new coach, you don't really know Come exactly on. what they, what, what your clients need. You don't even really yes. know exactly who your ideal client is. You don't know really what they need. And what I see and where a lot of them get stuck, they're like, oh, I have this course. And they think because they create a course and you put it on a platform, it's going to sell. And I'm like, no. And so a lot of them are like in their room for a couple of weeks, a couple of months. They are um, they figured out the camera, the webcam, and, you know, they're recording and they're all these hours and they have all these modules. But it doesn't sell. And the reason why it doesn't sell is because for one as a new coach, uh, a mistake, they try to put everything that they know into one course and you're going to overwhelm people. So one thing I'm against is overwhelm and you can have the purest heart, you can have the purest intention, but the thing is you can't teach people like that, especially adults, like you can't overwhelm them, give them too many tasks, give them too many things to do because they're gonna feel overwhelmed. Like I, I can't even start because it seems like it's too much. So my number one thing is do not lead with a course. I know there are people out there who are really successful who help people to do that, but I don't suggest that for new coaches. And I have a whole different strategy of how they can go about it because uh, my way is you'll see, you'll get a, you'll get wins quicker. And by wins, I mean, you'll earn money quicker, you'll monetize quicker, you'll get a sense of what people really want from you. You'll get used to coaching and teaching. And then 
you know, the more um, I like to call it, a, I like to start with a single solution approach. Now, let's take you, my dear, like with the, the book queen, right? Let's take you. So <laughs> you're like, okay, you know, I want to teach people, you know, with the books, like, you know, um, how to write the books, how to monetize the books and, you know, how all the things, the different things that you do. So the traditional approach is I'm going to create this course. It has 20 modules in it and I'm going to teach you how to write it, how to publish it, how to market it, how to create a workshop, how to do this, how to do that. I don't know about you, but I get overwhelmed with courses like that. I'm like, I need a win. I need mm -hmm. to be able to create and monetize and win. So my approach is why don't you offer a single solution? So you take the big major problem that you're trying to solve, like, okay, I'm gonna help you to write a book and then to monetize that book in various ways. All right, that's the big problem we're solving. That's great. So we know we know what we're gonna do. And then I like to say create a success path for your clients, meaning when when they start with you, where are they beginning? And then where are they ending? And like you and I both said, these are the people we work with. This is what we help them to do. So I know where you're going to start and I know where you're going to stop. And I'm not going beyond that stopping point. Meaning, Come on now. You know, right. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to teach you six figures. No, I don't do that. Like, I'm mm -hmm. like your, mm -hmm. your elementary school teacher <laughs> for new online this coaches. And I'm right. fine with that. Right. I'm, Absolutely. I'm fine with that. You know Absolutely. what I mean? I, I don't teach high school. I don't teach college. I don't <laughs> desire to do that. Other people do. So you look at the big problem you solve. Then where do they start and where do they end? So let's just take the school thing. With me, they're going to start in pre-K and they'll probably end, they can probably end around maybe sixth grade, eighth grade, eighth grade, sixth grade, whatever. But I know, so I know, okay, here, they're not, if you look at yourself, they're not going to have a book. But by the time they get to the end, they're going to have a book and maybe they have monetized it with maybe three or four products and now they are speaking and being paid. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's, that's the success, the success path. So my Absolutely. thing now is you want to break all of those things down and create what I call single solutions. So the first single solution is if you're going to help me build this book business, I need to know how to write a book because I don't know. And then, so, but, but here's a mistake people make. They'll say, oh, well, all right. So in this, um, in this class, I'm going to teach you how to write your book and publish it. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much. And some people may say, Shalina, well, it's not the way I do it. I'm like, uh-uh. Your first class should be writing the book. Because you wouldn't believe how many people just can't even think. They don't believe that they can write a book. Absolutely. And you may have a certain process. You may have a certain way for them to write the book. So, okay, mm -hmm. so you just offer that. That's your first solution. All right, I'm going to teach you how to write the book my own special way. After that, you know, because you had a success path, you know, now they're going to need to know how to self-publish it. Offer that as another solution, another class, right? And then you're like, oh, okay. And some people may feel like, well, they're not going to buy from me. If you do a great job the first time, you will get repeat buyers. And they so, sure will. The writing class. Oh, she's teaching self-publishing class. Bet I'm gonna take it. And you know, after self-publishing, they're gonna need to know how to market it, right? That's a totally different thing. And I think, well, my approach is, is, is not that fluff, because fluff is trying to teach you how to do all of those things in one class. And it's, you're just giving me information. You're not helping me to implement anything. I tell people the money is in the implementation. You're not helping yep. me to implement anything. You're not helping me to like transform that information you're giving me. And that is what people are crying for. I'm sure as a coach, you've had people who they said this to you, man, I wish I would have met you sooner or before <laughs> I spent thousands of dollars. Right. And I had <laughs> to all to these videos you. that I had to look at and ain't nothing help happen with it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so my thing is don't start with the course and do the single solution. Do a master class. Think about, you know, that, that large problem that you solve and then break it into steps. What are the steps to get there, right? And like I said, you start out with a class and then, you know, you do another class and I'm telling you, you're going to get repeat buyers and then you can get creative with your approach. You can do like a weekend virtual retreat. You know, you can, I like to do clinics where I, I break down what I taught over like a, a week or two weeks. And it's really helpful because people end up walking away, creating things and they have something to show for. So you can be as creative as you want to be. And that's why I have clients who like they're monetizing, like they're, they're earning $5,000 in three weeks uh, in a month. Um, one of my clients who went through one of my programs, 
Last I checked, she was like at forty thousand dollars, and it's because it's a simple solu- It's a simple system mm-hmm. where you're becoming more solution oriented, right? And you're solving problems, and you're helping people to solve problems. And when you get back to the basics, you'll be so surprised. And um, a lot of new people they think, well, wow, you know, I have to have all this technology figured out. I have, to- and you really don't, right? You really. Don't. I mean, I can tell from your setup, you're a techie. I'm you know a techie. what I mean? You, Absolutely. You don't, you don't mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't mind venturing into it. But there are some people who like, they're they still don't need women. all of that. Yes. Intimidated by it. And it's like, the thing is, you don't need all of that. Mm-hmm. So that's a, that's a, um, a big See, thing. So, yeah. See, so, you know, I'm just not the person shoe girl. I'm the gadget girl. So for me, it's like <laughs> I get heat flashes. I'm just, I, oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. So anyway, so like when we were getting started and I was just like, girl, this new software, I'm all excited. But listen, so now I want to even get into, I want to dig down deeper because Mm -hmm. another big challenge that I see from a lot of people, especially wanting to get into the coaching space is knowing that you could literally be a coach in anything. There are people who coach people like I can coach you how to train your dog and make six figures at it. I can coach you how to, I don't know, the weirdest thing. So let, let me ask you that. What are some of the weirdest or maybe non-traditional types of coaches that you've either heard of or you've worked with? And let, let's dig into that because everybody, you know, the first thing they do, they see somebody's a social media marketing coach. Okay, I want to get into social. And you don't know nothing about social media, but you know everything about how to get engaged. You can literally just teach people. I teach people how to get engaged. So let's you know let's what? dig into that. Um, I, I won't say it, it was the well let's just because you're right, most people are, are business coaches. And I'm I'm gonna touch upon why business coaching is so popular, right? Mm-hmm. But then you have the women's empowerment coaches, right? Yes. And why they struggle. And and the, the short answer is they struggle because a lot of them aren't able to um to articulate a tangible result exactly. that they that that a person can get as a you know as a result of coaching with them. So as a business coach, I can say, hey, I can help you build an online school and um, show you how to monetize. Da 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 da. And after working with me, you literally have you have those things. Whereas a lot of like you know a women's empowerment coaches, it's hard for them to articulate that. Yeah, because it's like, all right, I'll help you build up your confidence and all that, and I say. You're helping me to build up my confidence to do what? Why do I want my confidence? And, right. And then and then they get offended. Some of them get offended. Like, what do you mean? Woman needs confidence. But it's like, okay, is it confidence like so they can go after the job of their dreams or mm-hmm. get the relationship of their dreams or get the weight? What? And so they, they're they slowly starting to understand it. Now, with that being said, um, the whole thing is as long as you can create a result for people and articulate that, People will pay you, and like uh, Tariya was saying, like with the with the dog, um, you know, <laughs> fly fishing. So one of the most interesting uh, clients I had, it was like she was showing women how to be sensual, and that may not seem um, very weird, but like in That's the class like, that, yeah. that she had to bring different items, they had to bring like some ice and a feather and some other stuff, and she was oh. we were like she was showing us the different senses and stuff like that so to me that was like the most interesting one that i did but she sold that class because she was able to tap into how she can help you and what the end result was so i'm telling you we let we, we had to bring ice a feather <laughs> and chocolate <laughs> like, or something. just just hearing the ice and the feather i'm like ooh, that sounds like, fun. Oh, okay, that sounds fun, that was right? american <laughs> sexy and stuff <laughs> It's so funny you say that because I was just at a conference um, the past weekend and me and my girlfriend, we were talking, my homegirl, we were talking about like how it was this girl that was at the conference who just exuded, like exude like sexuality, right? But wasn't trying, like she didn't know Mm -hmm. what she had. And I was like, we're like, girl, you need to teach people. Like you don't even know, but see, cause she didn't know. And so now she could have someone who could teach her how to be able to express that because there are women right now like i need to know how to be sexier they say i'm too yes. rough i'm too tough and i want to learn you how to be what? sexual i love that idea absolutely you reminded me of um the woman i think she was from atlanta she was a hula hoop woman 
or she is the hula hoop woman and mm -hmm. honey she is not your grandmama's hula hoop or when we were little <laughs> girls when she was working it and it was just like you were just what it was mesmerizing and i i'm like yo as a woman i would love to tap into that femininity and i will love that i'm like yo did she teach classes or even wow. even look at some of some of the um some of the dance classes like the twerk classes and stuff like that it's fun um you're releasing energy right so so the whole point is it doesn't matter what you're selling you can monetize it now there are certain ground rules though if you're going to to sell something for example someone came to me earlier and she said you know um it was like when COVID first broke, like May, and, you know, after, like in May or something. And she was like, I want to teach African Americans about, um, what do you call it? They're in building up, building up their immune system and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, like, that's all right. I went to her social media because my thing is I, I, I want to help you monetize quickly. And I know it's certain things you need to have. Right. So um, I go to her social media and I'm like, nothing about you says, you want to help people build up their immunity or they mm -hmm. help nothing. You don't talk about it. So Ooh, how are you girl, going to preach. sell it? Preach. Guess, I was like, listen, you can sell it, but listen, it's going to take you at least another 30 days or so because we have to get the content to match. Absolutely. So people don't realize that people need to see. So if you say, you know, um, so I told her, I said, you know, you're saying that, you know, you want to help people with their immune systems. I don't see anything in your social media that speaks to that and because it doesn't it's going to make it harder for you to sell this idea and i said let's look at some other stuff she said so she said oh you know what i i i specialize in creating conferences of of at least 400 people and i know all of these things about conferences and i said stop i said that's actually pretty good Heck and yeah. remember with something tangible mm -hmm. and then i said well you know after COVID is over people are going to be having so many conferences it's not funny now the thing is i went to her social media and she was she had social proof she had pictures and different things so when you checked it out it was like okay this is what she's into mm -hmm. i buy that so no matter what you want to sell no matter what you want to sell you have to be about it and you have to show it come on if you don't show it, it it's just going to be harder and Gosh. longer for you to sell. Girl, I feel like, was you like in my head or something? Like everything you're <laughs> like, are you trying to sell me right now? Look, I'm not lying <laughs> because everything you're saying is so perfect and you are making me so comfortable. I promise you, we're going to have to have an off, uh, offline conversation because I, my folks need you like outside of urban CEO, what I do for my, my business, everything you're saying is exactly what I'm sharing all the time. Um, I, listen, like again, and, and I just really feel like it goes back to again, being addicted to our own labor. So we see this and we want to do that. Then we're going to try this and then we're going to try this when literally like, I always try to think of the weirdest stuff. Like you could be a coach teaching women, how to get a car without getting hassled. Like literally, like I'm just randomly making up stuff because mm -hmm. I got pictures of the cars that I want right here. And so mm -hmm. imagine you teach women how to go into a dealership and not get played and pay less every single time you, you know, whatever you're trying to do when it comes to cars. So it could be real simple. Okay, so now the next question that a lot of people always want to know, how do I price my program? Um, okay, and, and I want to even set this, set this preface at, um, cause one of the things I think I get from a lot of people is they feel like they're unqualified, uh, to charge a certain fee. And so how does one price their program? Like, where do you base that from? Okay. That is an excellent question. And you're right. A lot of people have that question. And like I said, go, you have to go back to my frame, my, my, my lens, my, my, uh, my frame of reference for me is I'm with newbies and I know they don't feel qualified. I know they feel like, Shalina, you really think they're gonna buy this from me? Or they feel like, Shalina, is this, is this really worthy to teach? And I'm like, remember, you know what you know. I don't know what you know. And the people who are attracted to you, they don't know either. So we have to kind of like take a step back, take a deep breath and be like, you know what? I know my stuff. Not only, and, and you you know, the, the proof that you know your stuff, it comes to you easily. I once heard a woman um, say this, and this is for when you, once you master it. 
she said you should charge the most for the things that you're the best at but when you're first starting out you feel like you some people feel icky like I feel bad charging for something that comes to me so easily. Hmm. And I'm like, you got to stop that because, listen, if you hire a plumber for a job, do you want the plumber that, okay, boom, boom, bit, bit, they get it, they solve it, or do you want the person who's lingering in your house, messing stuff up, calling, asking for it? You don't want that. You want the person who knows their stuff. So the first thing you have to do, no matter – where you're starting at in the beginning, you have to become confident. You know, I know my stuff. I'm confident. And, you know, um, with my clients, though, I make sure they do it step by step and break it down for people. Because um, when you do know your stuff, you can tend to, like I say, just mush it all together and assume that people know stuff that they don't know. So I'm like, no, baby, baby walk, ba- baby steps and, and, and baby mm-hmm. walk. So you're like, all right. So n- now that we got your mindset right, like, okay, I can teach this. I'm good. You know, this is how I'm going to teach it. It doesn't matter what the price is at the beginning. It doesn't matter. And people may say, well, what do you mean? That's not solving my problem. Listen, the reason why I'm saying is it doesn't matter is because when you're first starting out, you're trying to, one, get people to buy. And two, you're trying to teach what you know to make sure it makes sense. Make sure you're getting, you know, you're helping people. And then you want that social proof. So in the beginning, I'm like, I'm like, let's take the price off the table for right now. And let's focus on, hey, can I get someone to buy this? Because once someone buys, you're in business. That means you're solving a problem for a fee. Then you teach. And they're like, oh, this is good. Or, you know, you might have like skipped over something. And then I'm like, man, excuse me, Taria. Can you tell me like, how did you do this? And you're exactly. like, oh my God, why are they asking me? And then, right. you know, so you're, 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 you need that feedback. And then at the end, they're giving you testimonials. And let me tell you, when you do it my way, what always happens, you, you solve this one solution. And they say, Taria, um, well, in the class, you brought up this thing right here. Are you going to teach on that or, or have you thought about teaching? They tell you what to t- I'm telling you. They tell you what to teach. And if they come to you and tell you what to teach, right, that means they're going to buy it. Yep. And that's what we want. So you get repeat buyers and you start creating products that people want. But let's go back to say, all right, Shalina, but I still, I need to know. Here's my thing with like new people. If you're doing a master class, it's like 60, 60 to 90 minutes, like 60 minutes, it could either be, um, you know, the 60 minutes can be the straight training and then 30 minute Q&A or it could be 45 minute training, 15 minute Q&A, whatever it is, 60 to 90 minutes. Right. You're talking about one solution, one problem you're trying to solve. Right. You have that. And let's just say, remember, your goal was a thousand dollars. It then becomes math. All right. Come on. If I charge numbers. 47. Right. If I charge 47 dollars, like 50 dollars. I like 47 because I like stuff that is in seven. That's just me. Yeah. Um, but if you want to say 50, that's fine. So if you're like, all right, this is the class I'm going to teach. This is what people are going to get out of it. And my goal is I want to make $1,000. When I first started out, I was afraid to, 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 to uh, say how much I wanted to earn. I was like, no, I just want to help people. But it's like, no, you need to have an idea of how much you want to earn because you're worthy of it, right? So mm-hmm. now I'm like, all right, I want to earn $1,000. So if I'm going to charge $50, right, I'm like, okay, 1000 divided by 50 that's 20 people. Can I get 20 people to say yes to this class? And when you begin to think about it like that, it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. there's your thousand dollars. Okay. Let's just say, if you say, Shalina, well, listen, I don't really know. Maybe I want to do 27. I don't know. $27. It, it really becomes math. Right. And it's, hold on. It's not, uh, it really becomes math right and i to re- i know you are a math person so i like to keep my number simple <laughs> i love to keep the number simple so let's just say you decide you want to charge 25 dollars for your class right mm-hmm. um it did what is, what is that taria what is the uh the 25 is that 50 well you said 50 because initially right so that's 20 people so what is that 40 people 40 40 is that people. right is it 40 yeah so that would double. be 40 Right. It will be 40 people. So then you say, wow, can I get 40 people? 
And then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, okay, it becomes a numbers game. But if you look at the 50, it's easier to probably get 20 people yep. than it is to get the 40. But then it's like, okay, if you're following, if you're following what I'm saying, you're like, okay, well, you know what? I didn't get 20 people, but I got 10. So you have 10 times the 50, right? That's 500. I still want you to be encouraged because remember, go back to the first thing I said about offering simple solutions. Remember your first solution, if we look at Taria, was how to write the book, right? Mm -hmm. He said, I'm going to teach you how to write the book for 50. You know, in your success path, that next step is going to be how to self-publish it. So the people that come to the first class, right? Only what, 10 people came, you made $500. That is still good. It's still good. I'm gonna tell you why it's still good. It's still good. Then at the end, you can already upsell those people to the self-publishing class. And maybe, maybe the self-publishing class is now, and now that's 97, right? So now what if, uh, what if five of those people took you up on that 97? There's your thousand dollars. Absolutely. It's mm -hmm. different ways of looking at it, right? But some, a lot of my, some of my clients, they, they get that thousand dollars because they just, once they see the money start piling up and the beauty is they pre-sell the class. So they haven't even taught the class yet. Right. You know, they're, they're mm -hmm. out promoting for like two weeks and people are buying into it and they're like surprised. They're like, I haven't taught the class and I've earned money. I'm like, yes, that's pre-selling. So that motivates them even more. Like who uh -huh. else can I get? So, um, that's what I'm saying. It's not hard to do once you wrap your mind around a few things. It's really not hard to do. Absolutely. And I'm just going to throw something in because I don't teach my folks that type of a price, but this is your lane because they're brand new. Yeah. Most of the people have been in. But what I will tell you is this that I definitely agree with, um, Shalina, is that once you start getting those receipts, the social proof, your value increases substantially. Yes. And another thing that we also have to understand, I share this all the time, when you feel bad about charging people for stuff, remember this, people respect what they pay for. And that is mm -hmm. period. That freed mm -hmm. me years ago. And the way that I knew that is because I would let people enroll into some of my programs for free just so that I could use them as a testimonial and they would never do anything. It wasn't mm -hmm. until people had to pay. And so right. I, and I also know even for myself, and then you also got to think about like this to, Sh to Shalina, because I know as a coach, you have a coach, you've invested in coaching, right? And mm -hmm. so if you have the audacity to invest in yourself, why would you devalue the value that you bring in? I mean, you know, when a professor wants to go work at a school, if they have a doctorate, they want to get paid more money than if they only have a bachelor's. Why? Because right. they spent more money on education. So the same mm -hmm. goes for you guys as coaches. If you've invested in your own coaching, you should absolutely expect to be paid for the value that you bring here into this world. So I can appreciate yeah, and, that. And, yeah, and I'm glad you I'm glad you brought that up. And once again, it was like remembering what I was telling people, like the lane that I um that I, you know, that that I operate in, because I feel like a lot of people it, you know what I mean? It's hard for them sometimes to offer something at a higher price. It just is. So it's like once you master, okay, let me make a thousand dollars and then I make another thousand and I make another thousand and you master that, people will then start coming to you. And like you said, you can create, um, you can offer higher products, you know, um, at higher value and your confidence will be there and your mastery will be there. Most importantly, and like you said, and you'll have receipts. So it, it definitely works. Um, it all works together and it all comes together. And so I feel as though when you start charging people, you should really know your stuff. And I think in our industry, because anyone can become a coach, it's a lot of fluff out there. And, and that's where you hear a lot of the stories. Like I paid 10,000 and I didn't get anything or I paid this. And they didn't, you know, they, they didn't get anything out of it. So I just, uh, for me, and I'm sure you can agree to read, it's like, if you're out there charging people, know your stuff and yes. produce and know your stuff yes. and really help people. Like mm -hmm. it's so much going on, like scamming. And I'm like, why Child. scam when there's Ooh, so many these... people who need help? The yes, influence is honey is getting called out, child. And and, yes. and that and that even goes back to why it's so important, guys, to niche it down. Like stop trying to be everything because you there's no way you can truly learn everything. Like I see some people where they want to help people write books, then they want to help people to learn how to be a speaker, then they want to help people to start a network marketing company, then they're gonna help you to learn how to do jewelry. And I'm like, bro. 
You cannot become a specialist trying to do all those things. And now it's a disservice. Like, how can you really say that you know everything about that, those individual industries when they're always constantly changing? So I can appreciate that. Selena, yeah, look, right. we need to get in touch with you, darling. So how <laughs> is it can our viewers listening and or watching how can they get in touch with you so that they can start getting on the path of earning for their value? Yes, yes, yes. So um, everybody, you can find me at um, bestsellingyear.com. That's B-E-S-T-S-E-L-L-I-N-G. Y-E-A-R, bestsellingyear.com. And on social media everywhere, I'm at Shalina Diva. So that's my digital footprint on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, all those places I'm at, Shalina Diva, and uh, my Facebook group. My Facebook group is called My Best Selling Year. That's where I spend a lot of my time. Definitely check me out there, and um, I would love to get you, you know, to start monetizing quickly with the information that you already know and that you already possess. Y'all make sure y'all hit her up. I'm telling you, she knows what she's talking about, okay? <laughs> Listen, she knows what she is talking about. Okay, one more Final question. So mm -hmm. urban for urban CEO actually stands for unapologetic, real bold, action oriented and non-conforming. I'm going to repeat it again, mm -hmm. but I want you to tell me of those, you know, of that breakdown, unapologetic, mm -hmm. real bold, action oriented and non-conforming. So those four, if it's one, two or all, what do you feel fits you best and why? Unapologetic, real bold, action oriented, and non conforming. I think it's non conforming. And why? And the, re it's the reason being is because just especially this year, I just don't conform to what the norms are. When I first started out, I told people, I don't think y'all should start with courses, even though there's so many people saying start with a course. Um, and I, you know, when things of like how I view pricing for, for, uh, for, for new coaches, my thing is a result. Let's get you a result. Let's get you some money in your pocket, right? And once you do that, you can build up. So I'm very non-conforming. I don't conform to like what um, the standards are, what people say you should be doing or how you should do it. And I'm non-conforming because I am bold in a certain, in, in many ways I'm bold, like, and I like to listen to what God tells me to do. I say God is like the best strategist ever. And so I'm able to be non-conforming and to be bold and being bold, all of the letters come together and being bold <laughs> when you're bold and you, and like, you really don't care what people think or what they say. And you're just focused on your mission and um, your ideal clients. Like I'm very unapologetic about who I serve. Even though, and Tariya, you can tell them it's very tempting to say, oh, just because it's something, you know, like Taria and I, she loves gadgets. That's why I'm like, so like, oh, this is cool. I knew it right <laughs> off the bat. They'll be like, oh, can you teach me this or can you teach me that? Right. It's so tempting to be like, okay, I can teach a class on that, but I had to rein that in and become really unapologetic. Like, look, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I can do it, but I don't offer that. I can help certain people, but these are the people that I really want to serve. So I became really unapologetic about that. And a lot of people didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And then how I chose to rent my company, a lot of people didn't like it, but it's what I chose to do. So definitely non-conforming is up there. Girl, just say all. <laughs> They, they, they are. Yeah, they're, they're all. They're like all level. They listen. They all flow together. That's why it's such a dope acronym, right? It's like it works. Mm -hmm. Like what? Okay, I get it, Tari. I get it. Well, Selena Diva, thank you so much yeah. for being here. I appreciate you, and I know this will not be the last time. Okay, for sure, we're gonna be I reaching out to her to, to definitely plug in and do more. So I'm gonna holler at you later. Let me tell you something, Selena Diva was amazing y'all make sure that you plug into this sister because i promise you she is definitely on point everything that she's saying i always talk about i def definitely believe in exactly what she's preaching and i think that every single one of you guys that are watching this if people have ever asked you how do you dot 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 that means they come to you for something i believe that if they'll google it 
they'll pay for it and they're looking for you. So make sure you get with Shalina Diva so that she can show you how to monetize that information, baby. Monet we should say monetize what's in your brain. Until then, you guys, we'll be back on our next show for another edition with an incredible VIP guest. This was a fire show. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Deuces. <laughs> Thank you.